Young people have gathered here at the JF Ade Ajayi Auditorium, University of Lagos, Unilag, to get useful insights at the third edition of the Gen Z Initiative in Nigeria, GINN 3.0. The event had a multitude of enthusiastic Gen Zs, underscoring the growing interest of the younger generation in Nigeria's socio-economic transformation. The theme of Gin 3.0 was daring to invent the future of the Nigerian entertainment industry. It featured nuggets from esteemed personalities within the Nigerian entertainment industry such as Charles Inoje, Hilda Dokubo and Ali Baba among others. It also had a panel of discussants who delved into practical strategies for navigating the entertainment industry honing creative skills and projecting a positive global image for the Nigerian entertainment sector. It's important that um, young people are encouraged in the in education, uh, in the entertainment industry, sorry. It's important that we continue to, as government to encourage young people in the entertainment industry and as also custodians of policy, we need to also, you know, um, uh, encourage them to always because um, art, the arts is very important in communicating to the citizens, so it's important to encourage them as custodians of our policy to, um, be, to embed in, as part of the message that they communicate our national heritage, our national history, culture, morals as well in the content that they communicate. Other notable personalities include the Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Management Services, Professor Lucian Chuku, who represented the Vice-Chancellor of Unilag, Professor Folasha De Okunshola, and past governorship candidate of Labour Party in Lagos State, Badibo Rhodes Viva, who was Chairman of the Day, and graced the occasion. It's wonderful because every sort of reformation or positive movement that happens in a nation or country historically always starts from the academia and the academic institutions, from the thinkers, right? And assembling young people um, like this to sort of give them guidance and direct them is the way to go. Um, in most developed countries in the world, this is what is done. And I'm very excited always to be part of anything that involves lifting up um, the youth in our country because truly they are the future and they are the present. And the world is not like how it has ever been before because now everybody is connected. And there's so much that can happen based on that connectivity. GIN stands for Gen Z Involvement in a New Nigeria. Now when you're talking about a new Nigeria, a new Nigeria has to do with a lot of bodies or concepts coming together. It's not just one aspect, we're focusing on various aspects of a nation growth. And in order for a new Nigeria to be given birth to, we have to ensure that the Gen Z are actively carried along in developing what a new Nigeria. So. This came out as I am. Um, this whole concept came out as a um, out of this whole concept came out as a hunger of ensuring that the Gen Zs are not left out in developing Nigeria, because I believe for us to get the future right, we need to ensure that the youth are actively carried along. The first edition was the Gen Z involvement in the business sector of Nigeria. The second edition was the Gen Z involvement in the political sector as the political year last year, and this edition is in the entertainment space. So every year we'll always come up with different concepts and content on how the Gen Z can get involved in various sectors of Nigeria. So next edition can be on tech, just touching different aspects of what of a nation growth. Because if we can effectively grow various aspects, trust me, Nigeria is going to be a better place. Because we'll be engaging with experts. Because in this our um, this um, this edition, we are engaging with experts. And last edition, we engaged with experts. So, how was it during their time? How is it now? And how do you think the Genesis can what, make the necessary adjustment in that sector and give birth to what, a better Nigeria in that little space? So, once all this little space coming together is what gives birth to a new Nigeria. So, yeah. You must give it to the Nigerian youth. He's not just hard working, he, she, not just hard working, but also adventurous. Um, these are young people who are faced with a lot of challenges and also remain sane. Because it's one thing to be faced with challenges, it's another thing to handle the challenges without losing your mind. So I'd say um, they dominate the scene really. And, and um, you know, for a place where you really don't have a lot of grooming grounds, and then you have these young people daring and not minding to learn for rise, for rise, but create um, a career for themselves and be part of the industry. I, I think we should um, actually, you know, commend them. There's, there's this thing about being a youth. 
uh, the bursting energy that is naturally uh, quartered in that uh, demography. If you do not trap it and nurture it, harness it for positive use, either by the community or the state at large, it will be used negatively, either against the community or against the state. So that is why whoever has thought of this, and incidentally, this is the brainchild of some young chaps, uh, is, 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 is something that any body should strive to, to support. The Gen Z initiative in Nigeria is a social impact program which strives to inspire active participation among the youth, particularly the Gen Z, in the molding of a better future for Nigeria by mobilizing for positive action in pivotal sectors such as education, health, business and entrepreneurship, politics, entertainment, technology and innovation.